Ah, oh, Sonic, such a recognisable character. Just look at all these games. I mean, this is just some of the games, at least. And there's even a few cartoon series, so where do you begin? Well, let's take a look. Let me introduce a game known as Sonic Mountain Quest. This is a ball climbing game where the objective is to get from the bottom to the top. It's worth mentioning that this game is actually based on an older 80s ball climbing game known as Kong Man, though it doesn't have the character Sonic in, but it's more or less the same game. If you plan on getting one of these, be sure to get all the pieces as it is likely that some pieces may be missing, but if you've got a complete set then it should work perfectly fine. The set should include two magnetic balls, though only one is really needed to play the game. The main part of the game is the mechanical toy which allows the ball to travel from the bottom to the top. The cardboard piece is a picture of Sonic on both sides which goes on the top. To play the game you only need one D battery which can be placed easily at the back. So once you've set up, you can start playing the game, so place the ball in like that and then turn the dial to begin. And the first thing you notice, this game can be pretty noisy with all the motors inside. There are three positions to place the dial stop, which should be self-explanatory, stops the game, auto, which keeps the game going in a continuous loop, and start, which actually sets a timer on the game. So as I already said, the aim of the game is to get from the bottom to the top as quickly as you can while avoiding all the obstacles and hazards that are in your way. Also, the higher up you go, the more points you score. The way you get the ball to move is by pressing this big yellow button so it can help you get over all the obstacles. The first obstacle is the easiest, just press the button once and the ball goes up like so. The second obstacle, however, is the most difficult as you have to get the ball across the bridge at the right time or else it will fall back down again. Anyone else who's played this game will know how frustrating it is to get the ball across the bridge, so I wouldn't doubt if some people would actually just cheat and put the ball straight at the next obstacle. The third obstacle can be a little tricky but it's nowhere near as hard as a bridge, though chances are the ball might fall off so do be aware of that. It can take some time for the ball to get higher up, so just keep pressing that yellow button and it should get up there eventually. Hopefully. The fourth obstacle is effectively a spring, so you have to get the ball high enough to go around like so. The fifth obstacle requires you to get the ball into the hot air balloon, which is all about timing. The sixth obstacle is the most fun to look at. The final obstacle of the game is to hit the ball up to a rotating image of Sonic and if you could do this successfully, you've beaten the game and got the highest possible score. Let's take another look at that. So overall, would I recommend Sonic Mountain Quest to anyone? Yes, I would. For any Sonic fans, it's a must, and for anyone who's a fan of games in general, this is something you may want to check out. It's a fun little game to play. The price of this game can vary, though it isn't too expensive, depending on where you get it from, to get it one complete with all the pieces in, and is overall a nice collector's piece. So that was Sonic Mountain Quest. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Retro Nick, and this has been a Quickie Game Review.